Sometimes you don't know what game to play. Nah. Nope. Hmm, what about games that weren't officially released on the 3DS? Of course. Homebrew games. The 3DS had a huge library of games to choose from, and the community behind it has done a lot to expand the world of the Nintendo 3DS, including homebrew games, or even ports of games. Why don't we take a look at some, huh? Uh, next scene, please. What? Why isn't it Chin Quake? You know it, I know it. The game where you make oatmeal. Wait, no, that's a uh, Quaker. My bad. Of course, a first-person shooter classic, and it fits nicely on the 3DS. The 3DS didn't have that many first-person shooters, and Quake 2 looks good on the system. You can customize the controls and map buttons to whatever you want. The default layout was using the face buttons to move the camera, but the C-Stick already was mapped to that as well. Maybe the default controls to the original 3DS, but now you can map the buttons differently so now I can jump and I can crouch, which you'll need to get through the levels. You can save and load at any point and make save states. The game runs really smooth on the 3DS and it even has a multiplayer mode, but I don't know if it's still up as I couldn't set it up. And the 3DS also has ports of the first Quake and the third one. But what about a different type of game? Ah, oh, not again. Uh, okay, next scene, please. Come on, next A Pokemon Pong homebrew game. This game is just a Pong game with a Pokemon theme, but it's well done, and you can play against a wall or a computer that they call the unbeatable AI. Which, the way the game works is that it starts off slow and gets faster and faster, and so you'll eventually lose and it's not that you can't score against the computer, it's that the game goes on forever. It also has a multiplayer mode that lets you use one 3DS system, and the second player uses the face buttons to control the other side. There you go, you guys can play now. Overall, a good Pong game. And the next game... And... Oh, come on, the transition effect is stuck now? Why is this happening today? Come on, go to the ne- Well, it's kinda random, and it's technically a DS game. Breaking Bad the video game. Yep, you heard me. I'm the one who knocks. Yo, Mr. White. Uh... The game itself has you, well, clicking, let's just say, it has the lab from the show, and you make a product that I can't mention here on YouTube. But if you've seen the show, you know what I'm talking about. You basically make the product three times, and or time for the process, trying to get a high score, so to speak. There's six stations where you can play a quick minigame, like this first one, which I can show you because it's just turning a valve here, and all the rest, well, you get the gist of it. It's a short game, but it's interesting and showcases the exact games that are homebrew games. Sometimes random, community-driven ideas brought to a system. Oh, never mind. Homebrew games means this. Okay, but what about one more game? Okay, the video transition normally this time. Anyways, Grand Theft Auto Vice City. The 3DS community did when Nintendo didn't. More like Nintendo, am I right? Well, it's not gonna play 60 frames per second, but overall it's better than I expected. It's Grand Theft Auto on the 3DS. Would an official release have sold well? Would it have been a success? We'll never know, but now you can at least play it on your 3DS. By the way, the game is in English, but all the text is in Spanish. But don't worry, I'll translate for you. Uh, let's see, I uh, see this word, mapa. It means map in Spanish. You're welcome. Now I found conflicting information online about overclocking the new 3DS with the most up-to-date Luma and whatnot. But I went into my Luma menu and I chose L Cache on the new 3DS option. And you know what? The game runs a bit smoother. Or maybe I just got used to the frame rate after playing it for a while. Still, if you want to play Vice City on the 3DS, then this is it. I'll have links to the GitHub pages for all the game's information. Obviously not the actual games themselves, but luckily my 3DS had them already pre-installed when I got it. Oh right, you can't see my face. Anyways, that's all the games I wanted to show you today, so um, video over now. Bye now. Uh, I said, I said, oh the transitions aren't working again, huh? I don't know what's with today, the transitions seem to be broken. Stop. Stop! Dang, you see what I mean? What's next? The video's gonna cut off like the surprise.